Cleanup has started for residents in Nyssa, Oregon. I'm your neighborhood reporter Jessica Davis. And after Wednesday's storm left significant damage in the area, residents are doing what they can to help clean up the town. I was in Ontario when it started hailing and raining and I was coming home at 2.30 and I got a call that said stay home or stay in Ontario because um, there's lightning, we have lines down. Mayor Betty Holcomb was surprised by the destruction when she arrived back in Nyssa. The saddest thing to come home to was our Christmas tree. Um, we light it every year um, for our Nyssa night parade and um, so that was sad to see that down. Um, the flag behind us is a memorial flag for Josh Brandon. Mayor Holcomb says a new tree could cost twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars, and the flag more than eight hundred. Although the town experienced a lot of damage, residents and pets are safe, but picking up the pieces. So we saw some boys walking by, and I said, "Hey guys, you gonna want to make ten bucks?" And they jumped at the chance. There were four boys, and they pushed and pulled and pushed and pulled until they had most of the branches down. One of them is still hanging on. Marianne wasn't home during the storm either, but she says last time there was a storm like this was 30 years ago. The most recent storm blew off roofs, left streets flooded and caused multiple outages. But now the power is back on. Most streets are clear and residents are cleaning up what they can. And I get tons of calls wanting to, what can I do to help? And that's just how our community is. And I just tell them, go see your neighbor, see what they need. The two of you go to another neighbor. You know, that's the basic where we can start. Um, for the city, we don't know where we can start yet. Mayor Holcomb, Mayor Holcomb says the city will catch its breath over the weekend and come back with a game plan on what to focus on. As of now, be cautious in South Park as there are tree limbs scattered across the park and the basketball court as this is one of the most affected areas. I'm your neighborhood reporter Jessica Davis reporting in Nyssa, Oregon for Idaho News 6.